My name is Alan Kint. I am head of GCSE at Ealing Independent College and my role is to look after all GCSE students at the college uh, to ensure that they are happy within themselves at the college and that all their needs are looked after in terms of all subjects and all relationships with teachers at the college. So at Ealing Independent College we take pride in the fact that we've got a community of learners that doesn't just mean that year 10s stick with year 10s and year 11s stick with year 11s and year 12s stick with year 12s. We like to think that we're fully integrated across the board. We find that year 10s talking to year 12s and year 13s about how well they're getting on with their A-levels brings about a great deal of aspiration within them. They tend to look now beyond what they can do and really aspire to stretch themselves that way. It really helps that they can talk to Year 12s about perhaps what they're learning in history or in chemistry or in physics and compare it with what they're doing and really then look for enrichment and stretch that way. Because of the smaller classes, uh, we have a greater knowledge of student capabilities. We also find it far easier to differentiate work effectively and so we make sure that we get the absolute best out of all students by completely adapting our practice to make it completely bespoke for all students. We, we understand that every single student is different and that they learn differently and we have processes in place to deal with that. We can do that largely because of the small classes. Another way that we motivate students is through marking and feedback because again of the small classes we can get marking done very quickly, get it turned around very swiftly back to students and it's not just a case of quantity as in getting through work very quickly it's more to do with quality we understand that marking and feedback to students they take real notice of we don't want them simply to look at a grade and then move on from there it's far more about making realistic and manageable targets for students which they can then move on from the fact that we mark and monitor so regularly we know that they can make little incremental gains rather than big tests at the end of a unit. We are doing tests regularly to make sure that they are picking up small bits of knowledge and small chunks of a topic and that they're doing so effectively. If I was asked um, whether you should send your children to Ealing Independent College, I would say yes. I think it is a great decision for the child. Children feel happy here, they feel listened to here, they feel monitored, they feel as if they are brought out the best in here. They know that they can come to anybody with an issue and it will be dealt with quickly and effectively. They know that we have their best interests at heart and they know that if they give it a go and they try their absolute best, they know that it will be valued and it will be rewarded with good results. Um, we monitor so closely that we can put any intervention strategies in to help your child. We also monitor so closely and have a good degree of flexibility to make sure that we can really look at the individual needs of any child and we can make it so that we bring it the best in them, whatever happens. Don't just start a paragraph. Firstly, secondly, thirdly, fourthly, fifthly, sixthly, seventhly. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Come on. After I got to 40, I'm going to write 50 hours next. Next. <laughs> <laughs> right.